Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this generic type animation like Pixrate. A huge shout out to Pixrake and its amazing works. Now you can furthermore watch his works in the Instagram and I will put its link down in description. So let's begin. All right, so here we are instead of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I'm going to click on new composition to set up a composition and I'm going to call it main and then the aspect ratio is set on 1080 by 1080 and the duration is 5 seconds. And for the background color I'm going to choose something between the white and black color because we are going to mainly work with the white and black for the text colors. Now I'm going to hit OK. Now what I will do is that I'm going to right click in empty space in here and then I'm going to click on new composition and then I'm going to call this one the base design then I'm going to hit OK. So let's go towards the type tool and let's write our text which is hero and I'm going to change its color to a black color and then I'm going to go towards the align tab and I will align it towards the middle. Now make sure the anchor point is set on bottom and then press S to reveal the scale value. Now turn off the chain option and set a keyframe on the scale. And exactly on one second change the Y axis to zero. So we will have something like this. Now I want to reveal the text from the top to bottom. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate this text one more time and then I'm going to change the anchor point to top. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards the properties panel and then I'm going to change its color also to white. I'm going to select these keyframes and I will right click on them and I'm going to choose time reverse keyframes and we will have something like this. It's for the best if we offset it by one frame. Great, now I'm going to select this layer and then I'm going to change its color to orange and I'm going to select both of these layers and then I'm going to press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to make a duplicate of these layers but it will cut exactly the beginning of these Hero 1 and 2 layers. And now I'm going to select the Hero 3 layer and I'm going to change it like this. Now I want to reveal exactly the top text again. So to do that, I'm going to change the anchor point. So let's move the time indicator a bit forward and I'm going to change the anchor point to bottom. And then I'm going to make sure that my keyframes are aligned with the hero text. And then I'm going to choose time reverse keyframes. So we will have again something like this. Now for the top one, I'm going to go exactly one frame forward and then I'm going to place it in here and I will change the anchor points to the top and then lastly I will reverse the keyframes again. So we have something like this. So on the final step I will press U to see all of the keyframes and I'm going to select them and I'm going to turn them into standard easings. Alright so here's the base design for the text. Now, before we move on, all I want from you is that you hit the like and subscribe button as it helps me out a lot to grow the channel on YouTube. Okay, so now that we have finished the text, it is time to create the displacement map effect. So before we start to create the displacement map, we need to turn these text into shapes. So I'm going to do that quickly because the effect does not work on the text layers. And I'm going to delete these texts so we don't need them anymore. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new composition and let's call it displacement design and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag the base design into this one and now what we need to do for the next step is that we need to generate a new solid and I'm going to tell you why in a second. Now let's just call it the gradient map. and. What we need to do is that we need to generate one gradient map for each letter so we can use the time displacement effect for it. Now if you have a problem with the time displacement effect, I have another video that I will show you how to work with this effect. Now the link will pop up right now, but please don't close this video and watch it until the end. Now what I will do is that I'm going to add a gradient ramp effect and then on the next step I'm going to rescale it down. 
and I'm gonna scale it down until it covers the H letter. And then I'm going to move it towards here. So it basically covers the H letter now. Then I'm gonna set the black position on the left side and the white position on here. So we have something like this. Now I'm gonna duplicate this layer one more time and I'm gonna push it in here and then I'm gonna resize it again. So here's our displacement map. Now we don't need this design in here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just pre-compose everything and then I'm going to call it the displacement effect. And now I'm going to bring down the base design in here again. And I'm going to move the text at the bottom. And now I'm going to hide the displacement effect. And now I'm going to add the time displacement effect. Now, if I change the displacement layer to the displacement effect, as you see, it immediately took the effect. But right now, the effect doesn't look what we really want. So I'm going to change the max displacement to 0.5, and then I'm going to change the time displacement layer to effects and masks, and then I'm going to change the time resolution to 250. Okay, now it's slowly getting close to what we really want. Now for the next step, what we need to do is that I'm going to bring everything to the main composition. And I'm going to bring the displacement design into our text. And this time I will composite it with the displacement map effect to make the effect look better. So as you see, it has a bit difference, but however, the edges look too sharp for me. So we need to add two more effects to reduce the sharp edges. So I'm going to add the Gaussian Blur to the base design in order to fix these edges. And then I'm going to add the Curves effect and I'm going to go towards the Alpha channel and I will push the Dark and Light channels to the middle. Okay, that seems good. Now I'm going to duplicate this text one more time on our main comp and I'm going to readjust it. Now I'm going to pre-compose them one more time and then I'm going to call it text. And then I'm going to scale them. Lastly, I will add a tint effect in order to change the colors. So, here's the final design and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Also, if you are interested in these type of animations, you can watch these two videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.